this video is going to show you how to find exact trig values with coterminal angles. Remember, coterminal angles just mean that the angle ends in the same position. It may be a negative angle or it may be an angle above 360 degrees, but we're going to work with them to put them back into a 0 to 360 angle. So find the exact value of sine negative 225. So I don't work with negative angles, so I want to find its coterminal angle. In order to do that, I'm going to add 360 because you're adding a complete circle so you'll end up back in the same position. And that's the sine value that I'm going to find instead of the negative 225. So if I take out my calculator, I can type this right in. I can hit negative 225 plus 360. So I end up with 135, and I'm going to find the sine of 135. I see the phrase exact value, so I'm thinking two things. No decimals, and use my chart. The chart has three angle values, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So I need to work with 135 in order to use one of those three that I already know. So I'm going to start by sketching my angle. 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees. This angle is going to fall in quadrant 2 because it's between uh, 90 and 180. So here's my initial side. Here's my terminal side. This is the angle of 135 degrees. I'm in quadrant 2, so this would be a negative x and a positive y. I am talking about sine, and remember that xy is the same thing as cosine theta, sine theta. So I'm talking about y, so my final answer will be a positive value. I want to find my reference angle, which is always measured to the x-axis. So if I were to draw my triangle, it's this little piece in here. So I am at 135 degrees, I want to get back to 180, so my reference angle is 45. So the sine of 45, and I know that it's going to be positive, is going to be my answer. So from your chart, your sine of 45 is radical 2 over 2. Let's look at one more example. The exact value of cosine 600. So 600, I can't draw because it's coterminal. I'd have a lot of loops. So what I want to do is I want to subtract 360 in order to find a better angle for me to sketch, but an equivalent angle since they're coterminal. So this is going to be the cosine of 240 degrees. So once again, exact value is no decimals and using my chart. So I'm going to start by sketching a picture. 0, 90, 180, 270. So this angle of 240 degrees is going to fall in the third quadrant. Here's my initial side. Here's my terminal side. This is my 240 degrees, which is coterminal with 600. So if I'm in the third quadrant, both x and y are negative. We're working with cosine, so I only care about the x and I need to find a reference angle. So I'm going to sketch my triangle. I'm looking for this angle in here because reference angles are always measured back to the x-axis. My reference angle here is going to be 60. So I want to know negative cosine of 60. From your chart, the cosine of 60 is 1 half and I have to make it negative. So our final answer is negative 1 half. So finding exact trig values with coterminal angles is the same process, except your first step is going to be to add or subtract 360 degrees so you get back to a number that you're used to sketching.